Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about the Lennox 13 gang. Lennox 13 is a Mexican American gang in the Lennox area of Los Angeles County. Lennox 13 came around the 1960s. Members within the gang used the Los Angeles Lakers logo as a way to identify one another. Lakers merged is a particular logo used amongst Lennox 13 gang, representing the L in the gang's name. Enemies of Lennox 13 are Tepas 13, Anglewood 13, as well as Tongan Crip Gang. On October 30th, 1983, Heriberto de la Paz, a Lennox 13 gang member, became involved in a fight with a rival gang member at 12450 Gilmore Avenue in the Venice section of Los Angeles. The victim tried to stop the fight and then started to walk away when Heriberto produced a gun and fatally shot a rival gang member during a gang fight. Heriberto is a heroin addict and is on LAPD's most wanted list. In 1989, two Lennox gang members, Benny Ben Dog Belfield and Pedro Wack Diego, had believed a 15-year-old teenage girl by the name of Renee Johnson had witnessed and gave detail about a murder the Lennox 13 gang had done. Using a shotgun, they had killed her at point-blank range. Both men were caught, and both Benny Ben Dog Belfield and Pedro Wack Diego had received life in prison without parole. In 1998, David Robles was a member of the Lennox 13 gang who went by the moniker Puppet. David lived with his cousin, Jesse Garcia, who was an active member of the Culver City Boys gang, who went by the moniker Psycho. Frank Ernest Juarez and Arturo Arce were co-owners of the West Side Clothing Store located at 2204 Lincoln Boulevard in Santa Monica. Arturo was a member of the Santa Monica 17 gang. He used the moniker Termite. On October 27, 1998, Frank was at the store preparing its upcoming grand opening with him and his cousins, Michael Juarez and Anthony Juarez, an acquaintance, Matt Vaughn. Just before noon, three masked men entered the store and fired multiple rounds. Frank was alerted to the shooting when Vaughn ran to the back of the store, terrified. Frank saw one of the men wearing a black mask and carrying a long gun, who entered the store through the front door. The men began shooting multiple rounds randomly. Frank ran to shelter in the back office where he heard rapid gunfire. A gunman then fled to a waiting car. When the shot stopped, Frank grabbed his pistol and went to the front of the store to find Michael lying on the ground. He had been shot 13 times and died of multiple gunshot wounds. Anthony, who had suffered five gunshot wounds, was still breathing, but died minutes later. Vaughn and Frank were both wounded, but survived. Witnesses saw three men wearing long coats and carrying long guns exit the store and run to a waiting green or blue-green car, which sped away after they entered. Robles was later identified as the driver. One of the men later identified as Garcia removed a ski master cap, which fell to the ground just outside the store. A witness followed the getaway car for some distance and recorded a partial license plate number. Witnesses also wrote down a portion of the getaway car license plate number on the day after the shooting, October 28, 1998. Police executed a search warrant at Robles and Garcia's residence in connection with an October 9, 1998 home invasion robbery in which Garcia was a suspect. Robles, Garcia, and Rudy Renteria were present. Both Robles and Garcia were arrested on charges unrelated to the shooting, convicted, and sent to prison. Police recovered the knit cap that had been dropped at the crime scene. Three holes had been cut in the cap, apparently, for the wearer's eyes and mouth. In 2002 and 2004, respectively, testing revealed the presence of Robles and Garcia's DNA on the cap. DNA on the cap had been contributed by at least three and possibly as many as five people. The identity of the other contributors was undetermined. David Robles and Jesse Garcia were convicted of first-degree murder and attempted murder. Robles was sentenced to life in prison without parole, plus 39 years to life. Garcia was sentenced to life in prison without parole, plus 178 years to life. In 2011, 27 people were arrested in a RICO case called Operation Blue Devil that was culminated into an 18-month investigation into crimes committed by Lennox. In June 2020, a Lennox 13 OG named Raul Alvarado, along with another inmate, stabbed to death.
OG Harpies gang member and Mexican Mafia made man, Danny Popeye Roman, at the substance abuse treatment facility in state prison in Corcoran. Today, Lennox 13 gang is smaller than it used to be. That's not to say they're not active. A reason being some of their members are incarcerated or dead. A rapper from Lennox 13 by the name of Sucker Free 104 has recently gained attention in the past couple years with songs like So Rough, So Tough in L.A.